Hello YouTube, it's Nicholas speaking. Welcome to NN Web YouTube channel and welcome in another episode about Elementor Free Page Builder. So far, we already saw how you can change the global settings, global fonts and color. You already saw how you can set the settings for a section. We covered some basic elements. Those are inner section, heading, image, text editor, button. I will put the links of these videos in the description. Today we are going to explore video element, divider, spacer, Google Maps and icon. Okay? Before we start, do you like these videos about Elementor? Have you used Elementor so far? Do you have any projects built with Elementor free? Okay? Without further ado, let's go! Okay guys, those are the sections from my previous tutorial for tutorial on Serbian language, but let me remove it. Okay, then let's clear our settings, no, uh, our section here. Let's delete it, all the, the content from previous videos and let's add some video here. Okay, click here from elements, drag and drop this video uh, element in this section with two columns. Okay, let me see some videos from my player, actually from my YouTube list. For example, let's copy this link location here and paste it in there. Okay, now I'm going to add some space, but actually I'm going to add some margin here. Let's say 200 pixels. Okay, and this is our video, what we have, which options we have here. For example, you can change the source, you have your YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion or self-hosted. You, uh, you can set the start time and time and for video options you can activate autoplay, mute, loop, you already see, you can see the player controls, hide it or show it. You can set the modest branding, okay, I don't know what that is, and also you can check the privacy mode. Here you have suggested videos, you can set the current video channel or any video. Logic choice is current video channel. Also you can set the overlay image, okay, here you can set an image, let's add this new year image from there, or our mountain image. And this is our overlay. You can uh, set the lazy load, or you can change some settings here. Okay. Sorry, let's click on preview. And click on play. Okay, this is our video element. In style tab, you can change the aspect ratio for your video. You can set the CSS filters. You can change the size for play icon. See? You can choose the global colors, for example. You can change size. And you can add the shadow. Hmm. Okay, this is the style tab and for advanced, just like for other sections, you have advanced, motion effects, background, border, positioning and so on. Check the previous videos and these options are the same for mostly, usually for every element. Okay, now let's go to see the next element, this is the divider. Uh, for example, beneath this video, we have the some text. We want to add some text. And before that, some heading. Let's add, let's add more text. Okay, and now we want to add 
divider. What is the divider? Okay, for example, divider is this line here. Also, you can change it from solid to double dot dashed curl, curly line, or you can add the pattern just like here or dribble. Here you have many, many options. You can change, for example, you can change the width for this line. You can change the alignment and you can add the text or icon. Just like me, okay? This is the text. The divider actually is the break from one section to another section for your website. And with this kind of dividers, you have the better layouts for your projects, okay? Now let's see the spacer. Actually, the name <laughs> says enough. Let's add some space between this uh, heading and text. We, we already we added the spacer, and with this you can add this certain amount of pixels to have. You will get more space between specific sections. Okay, this is the spacer. You can change the space in pixels, uh, we, VH, this is the viewport height, and EMs, okay? And also you can change the space for desktop, tablet, and mobile. In advanced, you have many, many options, just like in for other sections. Okay, let's see the next, next element. This is the Google Maps. It is very important part of, for example, your contact page. Here you can add your location, your address. In our example, this is London I in London in UK. Here you can set the zoom for your map. You can zoom in or you can zoom out. Okay, let's set zoom in, for example, 15 times or whatever. And also here you can change the height for your map. Now this is the 665 pixels, okay? Now let's see, in style you can change the CSS filters. Let's make it some add or subtract some darkness and so on. Also you can set the CSS filters on hover. In advanced tab, this is the pretty much same settings. Advanced settings, motion effects, background, border, and so on. Okay. Now let's go to see other elements. Actually, we are going to add this icon element here. And in icon library, actually in Font Awesome library, you can choose whatever. Those are free icons from Font Awesome library. Okay. Here you can change the view. Let's set to be, I want to be stacked or framed. The shape will be circle or square. See, you can change, you can set the link to add open new window, for example, and you can change the alignment. In style, you can change the colors, primary, secondary color, Secondary color, color is actually the icon color and primary is for background. You can change size, padding, rotate. And here you have the uh, options for hover. In advanced tab, you already saw the settings. It's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much same for every section. Okay, guys, with icon, I want to wrap up this video. In next videos, we are going to cover these general elements and don't worry, we have time for all of this. Okay, maybe in next episode, I'm going to make some, a little exercise and I want to put our theory so far into praxis and create some section for real website. Okay, before the end, I will be very happy if you click on subscribe button and follow me on YouTube. With this guest, you will support my work.
Also, if you have any questions, write down in the comments. See you in another video. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.